Hi there, we're here in downtown Vero Beach at one of the local business staples here in the downtown area on 14th Avenue, Joey's Downtown Dapper Barber Shop. Come on in, let's take a look. All right, so I pulled Joey out of his barber shop so he can tell us a little bit about his business. Joey, I have a couple questions that I want to ask you. Just so like anybody who's who's gotten here on this YouTube channel, who's viewing this video can learn a little bit more about our local area and the local businesses and the people who run them. So number one, thank you for letting us come of crash course. your barber shop today. And number two, can you tell me a, a little bit, and I'm curious to know, um, what was your journey like to get to here? Because this is like literally a staple of downtown Vero Beach. Everybody knows Joey's Downtown Dapper Barbershop. Thank you. Thank you. So like, what did that look like for you? Um, kind of a, kind of a long road. Um, I started off doing a little bit of everything, but I've been cutting hair since I was in ninth grade. A buddy of mine bought me a set of clippers out of Sam's Club. And uh, I was cutting all my friend's hair on the sidewalk and, and uh, kind of just evolved from there. I've, I've done a hundred other jobs and done a hundred other things, but hair was always a constant and uh, that's it. Let me ask you this. Did you start in somebody else's barber shop or did you go straight into entrepreneurship, like so, into business for yourself? I actually worked for a salon for a short period of time. And then, oh no, I worked at a barber shop first. Um, it was a very small shop, traditional, um, high and tights, old men haircuts, just kind of get my feet wet, kind yeah. of in a in an actual professional setting. And then I moved to a salon, and I was there for about a year. And then they moved, and that's when I kind of split and went on my own. Um, I was back in my garage cutting hair for about six months until a client of mine uh, found this spot for rent downtown, and it's kind of. Where all it she started. Wrote. Yeah, it's kind of where it started. Well, cool. I mean, I think that's probably one of the best things that you could have done for your business was to come here because you you get so much of the foot traffic, you get so many eyes, and it's just kind of your whole vibe really goes with downtown Vero Beach. Okay, so I need to know what is the worst part about owning a barber shop? Um, I think some of the questions, um, just you know, people open the door and like, uh, do you cut hair here? Um, <laughs> that's the worst. If that's the worst part, then you're doing good. But yeah, do you yeah. cut hair here? Do you like, cut hair might. here? Um, do, you, do you do fades? So I kind of, I answer with the same kind of, no, just bowl cuts, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> um, but just, you know, common sense questions, I guess, you know. Yeah. Um, what do you do with all the hair? We just throw it away. Just in the garbage. Just in the garbage. We throw it away. I wish I could find the something to do with it. I don't know, is there something sustainable that you can do with hair? I don't think so. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know. Just curious. I don't know. That's, that's always a question. It's one of those dumb questions. So you're welcome. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I wish we could find, I wish we could find a use for it. Bedding. Yeah, I wouldn't be cutting hair Oop. so much. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the best thing about owning a barber shop? Um, I think the people. I think the people and interacting with different walks of life every day, uh, multiple times a day. You know, each barber here cuts about 15 to 20 heads per day. So we're That's interacting awesome. with a lot of people on a regular basis. Every, you know, we have guys that come once a week, twice a week. Um, we have a guy comes on Tuesday to get a haircut and then comes back on Friday to get cleaned up for the weekend. So, you know, hey. it's, it's uh, the community feel about it's really great. Yeah. Um, and that's it, I think the customers is the best part about it. Just making different relationships and I don't know, just being a part of the community is is a big part of that to me because I grew up here. So yeah. I was involved in this community since I was a baby. So it's nice to be part of that. Ooh. I love that, I, like, I really do love that. I would think that that would be the best part, right? Yeah, for sure. So. Cool. And then they're in your, they're like in your chair for X amount of time. Like that really gives you an opportunity to sit down and connect or learn more about them or that's it. Just shoot the shit or yeah, that's it. I yeah. think, I think the, the, just being so personal with, um, just Sorry. being, just being so, uh, you know, uh, personable with that, that client, you know, is kind of cool. You, you learn about them, you learn about their family, yeah. you learn about their, you know, their jobs, what they do for a living. 
Um, it's therapeutic for somebody who's coming yeah. to get their stuff done just to like talk. I think honestly, probably, I'm speculating here, but probably too for men, they don't really do that a lot. No, you and know? it's and a so great place to vent. And I know I have uh, <laughs> my clients, I chew my clients here off sometime too when I have to vent, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's good. It's it's you know, it's a it's an open space for guys to come in, relax. I mean, we have guys come in every Friday. They pop next door, grab a drink, come in, relax, get their hair cut. Um, you know, That's great. miss a phone call from their wife or two. And, <laughs> like, you know, not now. Yeah, give me another not twenty now, minutes. Shelly. You know, give me another yeah. twenty. But um, it's it's cool, and I just um, I don't know. I I really like what we've built here with the group of guys we have. Um, and we just have such a wide variety of guys that work for us too. That's that nice. It's, it's comfortable. not just like one kind of person you're coming no, in to see. We, it's like lots of different personalities. We have I love that. Demographics from, you know, tiny babies that get their first haircuts to 93 year old gentlemen that still come in with their caretaker or, you know, we and everybody in between. So, yeah. um, I think that's what's made us so successful over the years is that we can provide a quality service to a wide range of people in the community. We could touch out to a little bit of every demographic. Yeah. So it works out really well. Yeah, I would agree with that. Just how, like even bringing my own kids here and having my family come and get their hair cut here too. hundred percent. We're big fans of your business. We're big fans of you guys and your wife across the street at oh, the yeah. ice cream parlor. I love it. Thank you so much for letting us come again and crash, you know, uh, of your course. morning. Anytime. You guys are great. We love you guys. And uh, we appreciate you doing this for us. A little spotlight was always, yeah, always nice. Yeah, it's always know? good. We want to feature, you know, the local businesses, local entrepreneurs, because we're local entrepreneurs too, and the businesses that we like. So can you tell everybody a little bit about like your hours, where to find you, what's your address, what are your hours? Okay, we are located downtown on 14th Avenue, right in the heart of downtown Bureau. Um, our address is 2005 14th Avenue. We're closed Sunday and Mondays. We are open Tuesday and Wednesday from 9 to 5.30, Thursday and Friday from 9 to 6.30, and then Saturday from 9 to 2. And we are walk-ins only, so it's never as busy as it seems. If there's a lot of people waiting, please come in, ask. And if you have a preferred barber, you're more than welcome to wait for them. If not, you'll be on the next, uh, next available list and we'll get you in and out as quick as possible. Awesome, Joey, thank you so much. You're so welcome, thank you for everything. Of course.